For this video, we're going to have a look at Holistic Web's Mean Time Between Failure and Mean Time to Repair Analytic. Select the desired date range for the analytic and click on the MTBF MTTR tab. There are four panes within the Mean Time Between Failure and Mean Time to Repair Analytic, the data pane and the three bar charts. The data pane details the formula for both calculations and their corresponding results. In this case, the mean time between failure equates to 7.05 hours and the mean time to repair equates to 2.69 hours. Therefore, the equipment is failing on average once every 7.05 hours with the average time to repair being 2.69 hours. The result is based upon the date range, the equipment's actual runtime percentage and criteria defined within the filters. We'll look at configuring the filters in just a minute. This assumes, however, that the equipment has been running for 100% of the time. In reality, this would not normally be the case. In order to identify the true runtime, you can simply add the actual runtime percentage. Let's change the actual runtime percentage to 60%. You can see that this returns the following results. Mean time between failure equates to 3.16 hours and mean time to repair equates to 2.69 hours. The mean time between failure time is worse as the same number of equipment failures remain, but in a shorter run time for the equipment, hence less time on average between each failure. However, the mean time to repair remains unchanged as this is not related to the runtime of the equipment but the physical time it takes to repair said equipment. Let's also apply a filter. For this example, we're going to filter on the D-Line production facility. Click on filters in the ribbon bar and select the system radio button and filter on D-Line. By choosing Select All, every page, every asset within D-Line is automatically selected. You'll note the resulting mean time between failure equates to 12.97 hours and the mean time to repair equates to 2.72 hours for the selected equipment within the D-Line system. Let's have a quick look at the three bar charts starting with the mean time between failure and mean time to repair value bar chart in the top right hand corner. This chart gives the result for the mean time between failure and mean time to repair. By clicking on either bar you can drill down to the 336 equipment failures on the D-line within the selected date range. The resulting data grid can be customised to show the desired columns, sorting, filtering and grouping as required. The remaining two charts illustrate the mean time between failure and mean time to repair over time with a rolling three month move in average. By clicking on a bar for a particular period, you can drill down to the equipment failures within that period. Therefore, during July 2014, the mean time between failure was 24.15 hours across the 17 breakdowns for the period. For further information on Holistic Web, please visit www.smpltd.co.uk or contact us on plus 441793823013. Thank you for viewing this presentation.